With remote work being the new norm these days, I think it's very important to invest in a high quality, clear sounding microphone so that your colleagues can better understand your message. It baffles me to this day when remote workers communicate or present with cheap microphones, making it so hard to understand on the other side. Fine Fine's new take on a dynamic USB microphone like the model K658 featured in this video may be the solution to eliminating poor sound quality so you can sound your best when speaking in a professional setting. So why invest in a dynamic microphone versus a condenser microphone? Or why can't I just use my inbuilt microphone on my work laptop? Well, the answer to this lies in how dynamic microphones are especially good at isolating your voice above anything else. You see, if you speak into a mic that's far away, you tend to get a lot of reverb or echoes that make your voice sound muffled and hard to understand. Not to mention, if you work in a shared living space, your mic may pick up unwanted sounds from your surroundings. So the solution is to get a microphone as close as possible to your voice if you really want to stand out from the crowd and be heard amongst your colleagues. Investing in that high quality dynamic microphone may just get you that promotion you want. Now, what about condenser mics or shotgun mics? Surely those types of mics will perform well. Well, yes, those types of mics are going to be way better than your AirPods or your onboard mic on your computer, but dynamic microphones are really built to focus on your voice. Shotgun mics, due to their long open design, are susceptible to reverb, so unless you're in a treated room, it's not the optimal solution. Condenser mics are super sensitive as well, so they don't do the best job at isolating your voice. After testing the Fine Fine K658 Dynamic USB microphone, I think this mic offers the most value for the money spent. Oh, and you might be wondering, what about XLR mics? Aren't they so superior to USB microphones? Well, in my opinion, I think XLR microphones are just too much of a hassle for the negligible upgrade in sound quality. You'll need to pay extra to convert the XLR signal to a USB signal, which adds more to your expense setup, and it makes more things line on your desk. I like to have a clean and minimal setup on my desk, so using a USB mic reduces that clutter. By the way, during that last paragraph, I've been swapping between the condenser microphone and the K658 dynamic microphone. Can you tell the difference during that blind test? Leave a comment and check the video description to see what mic belongs to what. By the way, this was recorded in a small echoey room that is untreated, so this is a torture test for both these microphones. In fact, using a dynamic microphone is a far cheaper and less invasive solution to treating a very echoey room. Buying sound panels not only costs a lot of money, it can cause damage to your walls, make your room just look messier, and it's just a ton of work to install. By the way, I'll be sharing many more sound comparison tests later in this video if you still can't decide which mic sounds best for you. So let's talk about the design of the K658 microphone. First, upon unboxing this microphone, you'll notice that it includes a shock mount, which is a really nice bonus accessory that helps prevent unwanted bumps and keyboard noise from disturbing the mic. The mic does come with a decent pop filter to prevent plosives, which are loud bursts of air that are typically emitted when you say P's and B's. Now, the best way to avoid plosives is to speak off axis angle so that you don't necessarily get all these plosives, even if you have a pop filter on. Moving along the design of the mic, the mic has some really nice RGB accent colors, which can be completely disabled with the button below. It has a large hardware gain knob, which is always more convenient than having to tweak with software. On the gain knob is a capacitive button to mute the mic. It also includes a little tiny stand, but it's recommended to mount this on a boom arm. Any cheap generic boom arm on Amazon will do the trick, or you can invest in a high quality one, which I recommend like the Rode PSA one or the Elgato Wave arm. I'll leave links in the description if you're interested in any of those. Best of all, the mic uses a modern USB-C connection and it comes with a really long cable. Once you prop the mic a few inches away from your mouth, your colleagues are going to be able to hear your voice in high fidelity, which is crucial in this day and age where verbal communication is far more important than how you look on a camera. Let's jump into a bunch of sound tests where I compare the Fine Fine K658 with similarly priced microphones in the range so that we can see how well it does against the competitors. Don't forget that you can use the chapter links in the description down below to instantly compare the sound tests side by side. Mr. Jones of the Manor Farm had locked the hen houses for the night, but was too drunk to remember to shut the pop holes. With the ring of lights from his lantern dancing from side to side, he lurched across the yard, kicked off his boots at the back, drew himself a last glass of beer from the barrel in the scullery, and made his way up to the bed where Mr. Jones was already snoring. Mr. Jones of the Manor Farm had locked the hen houses for the night, but was too drunk to remember to shut the pop holes. With the ring of the light from his lantern dancing from side to side, he lurched across the yard, kicked off his boots at the back door, and drew himself a glass of beer from the barrel in the scullery, and made his way up to the bed where Mrs. Jones was already snoring. Mr. Jones of the Manor Farm had locked the hen houses for the night, but was too drunk to remember to shut the pop holes. And with the ring of light from his lantern dancing 
From side to side, he lurched across the yard, kicked off his boots at the back, and drew himself a last glass of beer from the barrel in the scullery, and made his way up to the bed, where Mrs. Jones was already snoring. Mr. Jones at the manor farm had locked the hen houses for the night, but was too drunk to remember to shut the potholes. With the ring of light from his lantern dancing from side to side, he lurched across the yard, kicked off his boots at the back door, and drew himself a, la a last glass of beer from the barrel in the scullery, and made his way up to bed where Mr. Jones was already snoring. Mr. Jones of the manor farm had locked the hen houses for the night, but was too drunk to remember to shut the potholes. With the ring of light from his lantern dancing side to side, he lurched across the yard, kicked off his boots at the back door, drew himself a glass of beer from the barrel in the scullery, and made his way up to the bed, where Mrs. Jones was already snoring. Mr. Jones of the manor farm had locked the hen houses for the night, but was too drunk to remember to shut the pop holes. With the ring of light from his lantern dancing from side to side, he lurched across the yard and kicked off his boots at the back door, drew himself a last glass of beer from the barrel in the scullery, and made his way up the bed where Mrs. Jones was already snoring. Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pickled peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? So in conclusion, I have to say this is an excellent sounding microphone that really isolates your voice. It's perfect for podcasting, YouTube videos, voiceovers, Zoom demos, and presentations for work. For the price, it offers a lot of features and the performance is excellent. I recommend checking this mic. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Just make sure to grab a boom arm to make the whole experience of sounding like a professional DJ talk show host more seamless. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions about the mic, please make sure to leave them in the comment section down below and I will see you in the next video.